Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing? Thursday morning here, three for Thursday, 8, 19 a.m. And guys, I want to go over some of, well, before we even get started in this three for Thursday, I want to go over some of my, um, how do I say it? Some of my favorite knives, okay? You're looking at three of my very, very favorite knives. I often take them out. I love to use these knives. They are, all three of these knives are very hard used knives. Um, they are very, um, you can tell when you handle them, hold them. Uh, the pull, uh, the walk and talk on them is very, everything is very, very stout, tight built very, very well. Um, I can't stress enough. Um, these knives are exceptional, just exceptional knives. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you how exceptional they are. I wasn't going to spill the beans, but I might as well just tell you now. They have this knife on the website right now, and I could not pass it up. The look, what you're looking at right here um, I got this in the white smooth bone. It is so beautiful. The white smooth bone with the blade is blued. It looked like it's been uh, a bluing on the blade and it looks just super. I mean, the blade, this piece looks just beautiful. You can see how they do the fit and finish on these pieces. These are, I haven't mentioned I'm jumping the gun again, Pete. These are Otter Messers, okay? These are Otter Knives. They're made straight up in Germany, solid in Germany. So if you want a true, true, true uh, solid in piece and you, you can't afford the Bokers and all that other piece, all them other th knives, you can get one of these. This is just a standard configuration with walnut on it. You can pick this up, this knife here, for like $65. This is like a $65 knife. And I tell you what, guys, you've got a big... Look how they do that Warncliffe. I mean, it's a big old Warncliffe. And I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite pieces. One of my favorite pieces. Uh, like I said, um... You can get these in white bone. It's just absolutely beautiful. And bluing on the blade here. I mean, it just looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. My next piece up that I'd like to show you guys is, uh, th they call this the Bees Keeper knife. Now, if you look closely, if it'll focus, they have a bee. It looks like a yellow jacket, actually. They have a bee on the inlay. That inlay is just totally, totally flush. And this is one of, this is one of the otters that um, is my favorite piece here. Um, once again, you're looking, let me see if I can focus it for you. Now this one says Ross Fry, Solagen, Ross Fry. You can see it, R-O-S-T-F-R-E-I. Um, Solagen. Uh, these truly are uh, German, German made knives. You can't get no more German made produced knives than what you're looking at right here. Okay, look at the fit and finish. Now, this was not a cheap knife. This was not a cheap knife, nor was it what you're getting here, nor was it expensive. I forget the name of the wood they're using on this one, but it's a very exotic wood. Um, I think it might be a plum wood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but what you're looking at here is, um, this knife is $100. If you're looking at the beekeeper's uh, knife, you're going to spend $100 for this piece. And it's well, well, well worth it. It is definitely well worth it. I mean, it's a full-size knife. It's full-size. Uh, you're going to get a, a full-size grip on it. The blade is full-size. Everything is full-size on it, right? Um, 
it's just a beautiful piece. The action is very tight on all of them. That's just the way they are. So don't think you're getting, um, if you get one, your action's going to be uh, real good. It's not. I've oiled it uh, many times, um, and people have told me it's it, that's just the way they want it. The tolerance is, is just the way they want it. Like the pull, it's pretty tight. But I like that. But you can hear the lockup. So you can hear, you see how much it takes to pull that baby open. But it's an insurance factor too. They want it like that because you don't have to worry about this knife folding on you. You don't have to worry about that blade folding on you. And um, some people worry about that, you know what I mean? But for good reason. Some people, you know, uh, you know, if you're not that experienced with a knife and, and, and you're trying, that's why a lot of people fry away from uh, unlock, uh, knives that don't lock. They automatically think they're going to get hurt with them, right? And that's not the case at all. That is not the case at all. Um... But, yeah, they're all carbon blades. They're all carbon steel uh, blades. I think that they're all made in, like, C70 steel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm really not sure of the steel. But I know that they're all carbon blades. I'll show you after I put this down. Um, but this is the Beekeeper's Knife. That's called the Beekeeper's Knife, and it's a very, very beautiful knife. You've got the uh, brass bolster here. I mean, it's very, very beautiful. I highly recommend all three of these. All three of these. So I'm going to be adding to the collection um, of my uh, otter, otter knives. I wasn't going to say anything until they came in, but I spilled the beans. This one... I can't even explain this one. I just love the looks of this one. I love that simple three rivet there, and that's exactly what this knife is called. This knife is called the three rivet knife. Simple as that can be, man. They put three rivets in there, and I guess they just ran with it, right? But this knife is just beautiful. They all come with these spear I mean, they're pretty big blades. I mean, they're long blades. Let's measure it, please, if we may. Let's pull out the good old, uh, instead of just guessing, why don't we pull it out and see what she measures in it. Let's see. Real quick. I normally don't do this, but I'll do it anyway, because I'm curious, too. We're coming in at three and a half. That's a pretty big blade. Three and a half inch blade, guys. That's what you're looking at. Overall, uh, let's see what the overall, let's see what the overall length is. You're going to be looking at the overall is uh, seven and a quarter. Overall length is seven and a quarter, guys. So it's a pretty big piece. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. It's got real nice i mean it feels because this wood is so everything's so smooth and it's a very 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 good purchase on this knife very good these knives are highly recommended there's just nothing more i can say i mean they're they're highly recommended they're built very very well well let's get back on to this three rivet knife shall we you've got this scalloped um bolster here which I love that little scalloped bolster. Um, this one, you can see how it takes a patina. This one has patina on it. It's got that grayish, that grayish look to it. They're all, they're all uh, 10, they might be 1075 carbon. But they're all carbon steel. I'll find out though. I want to know too. What steel they're using. Let's see if I could. I'll look it up. But I think it's like 1075. Um, one of them steels. But it might even be 1095. But you got the little otter there. See him? There he is. You can tell when you see the little otter. That means solid in Germany. 
I love to read that. I love to read that because when you see Solage in Germany, guys, to me, to me, that automatically means quality to me. Any, not only cutlery, guys. I just want to say, if you see, like, I got a pair of scissors that say Solage in Germany on them. I should show you them sometime. And they are built with the highest quality. You should see these scissors, how nice they cut and well built a pair of scissors is. I'm just saying, anything made in Germany is top notch because they want their knives and their anything they do to be the best. And it is, it truly is. I chase, why do you think I chase, not chase, I'm sorry, I used the wrong word. Why do you think I love bokers? Because when I get a boker knife, it's made so beautifully, just like the GECs. It's just like the GECs. The quality is there. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, this is just the three rivet knife. And I just love it. Same thing as these two guys here, or this one here. It's just made so beautiful. I mean, everything is so smooth and just, it's gorgeous. It's, it's a workhorse. All three of these are workhorses. All three of them are definitely workhorses. And um, I can't wait to show you uh, this piece. They got another piece out that um, this one, the three rivet knife. They got another one with white bone. Oh, it's beautiful. I might jump on that. I'm probably going to jump on that. It's 92 or $85. You're looking at $85 if you want to get the uh, white bone, okay? Just like this, everything's exactly the same. The white, it's only thing that's different is the covers. So you could get the white bone, it's $85. And this is the standard one here. This is the standard with the uh, oak wood right here. This is the standard one and you'll pay $65. For this exact model. This comes in at $65. The beekeeper's knife is $100. And this um, anchor knife is, I believe, 60, 60 something bucks, I believe. But um, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend all three of these knives. There's no... I don't have a favorite with these guys. They're all just beautiful. They're all great. They're all three of them are great. So that's my three for Thursday, guys. If you could give me a little love and a little comment, that'd be greatly appreciated. If not, you know how it works. That's fine as well. And um, we're just trucking along here, guys. That's all we're doing. We're trucking along. And um, yeah. I'll catch up to you guys soon. I got a, something special coming in that I think you guys are really, really going to want to see. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. Take care now.